Seattle Children's, with an employee count of 9,600, says it's facing the financial impacts from the pandemic, inflation, and economic uncertainty. As a result, the hospital is cutting 135 positions. It will impact 1.5 percent of Seattle Children's employees. The management restructure and reduction comes at a time when hospitals across the state say their finances are hurting. The results that we find are clear and incredibly concerning. In March, Cassie Sauer, the president and CEO of the Washington State Hospital Association, said her organization surveyed all acute care hospitals in the state to compare year-end financial results from 2022 to 2021. The financial losses that our hospitals are experiencing continue to be enormous. Revenues simply are not keeping up with rapidly escalating costs. It's most concerning as these large losses are putting patient care at risk in many communities across the state. The Washington State Hospital Association said while survey results showed revenue increased 5% year over year, expenses increased more. And total operating expenses increased by 9%. Net operating losses topped $2 billion last year. As for Seattle Children's, layoffs at the Level 1 Pediatric Trauma Center are about managing operational costs, according to a spokesperson who says the changes being made now will help secure our future. Happening at a busy hospital. There were more than 391,000 patient visits here last year, and the hospital does serve Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Alaska. That's the largest region for a children's hospital in the country. Live tonight in Seattle, Adley Swaby, King 5 News.